All right, everybody, welcome to a super, super special Bruin view that we're this doing today. This isn't the couch. When I'm on the internet, I'm watching Bruin view. We're in a new place now. We're in broken English with one of the best bartenders in Chicago, Michael Barnes right here, gonna make us an awesome secret menu drink. Yeah, you saw the title, it said secret menu item, you freaked out, now you're here. Now it's on you, it's gotta be like creativity and just booze coming out of you. There's lots of booze coming out of you. <laughs> yeah. This is actually called The Graduate. The um, Graduate, okay. Yeah, my background is in whiskey, so. Ooh, hell yeah. Getting here, I uh, had to kinda adopt mezcal. And yeah. Tequila. So this is the perfect max between, uh, you know, the mezcal and the whiskey. Oh, that okay. Is cool. Terrifying and dangerous. The marriage of those two. So <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And for people who don't really know what mezcal is, I think a lot of people just assume it's like a tequila. How does it differ from tequila? So mezcal is actually also made from agave. Okay. But tequila can only be made from blue agave. Blue agave. Okay. So there's like countless different varietals of agave and yeah. like wine. Yeah. yeah, and that's where mezcal differs. Okay, but they do both get you drunk, right? Absolutely. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Now <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. So, kind of the fun thing about this, go back, prohibition Ooh. style. Ah. And you're just gonna do a little egg white to stir it off. I feel like I Rocky. Think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most people when they're uh, they got their their bar cart at home, they're normally reaching for an egg first. That's the first <laughs> yeah, thing. <I> <laughs> You want to make sure that you are uh, not lactose intolerant. Okay, that'll help. Most yeah. important thing about this drink. Yeah, or bottles. take your pill first and then have fun. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where our whiskey is going to come into play. Joy, okay. Yes. This is actually a very nice scotch. Yeah, I was going to say, so that's, that's, not, okay. that's not Jack Daniels. Actually, just going to let this Ooh, sit. Smooth. And you just did the perfect thing, because this is yeah. all about the aroma. Okay, I was going to say, it smells really good. Isn't that kind of more like a... Like a chard, am I right on that? Is Lafroy got like a little Lafroy like a Lafroy is peat, peat moss. That's what makes scotch be scotch, basically. Okay. And that's where you get that, that that's what peat smells like, actually. Nice. It's just kind of weird. Um, so, we'll start off with some mezcal here. How many counts? I do an eight count. Eight count, okay. Yeah. I, go, I go heavy. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's why you're on the show. <laughs> start off with your citrus. Okay, a little citrus. Ooh. Coffee got me. <laughs> yeah. You doing this? <laughs> Dude, too much, too yeah. fast. Still gonna have a Red Bull. Dude, you're uh, got to do what you got to do. I've you know? never met anybody more caffeinated than this guy. So he just kept having talk. Like he drinks coffee. What do you drink? Like three or four thermoses a day? Oh yeah, Marty. I'm probably like close to like eight to fifteen cups a day of coffee. Yeah. So that right there, a little dry shake. Okay. Gets it nice and foamy. That's what you want. You want this cocktail to be like a. Cloud. This is a delicious alcoholic cloud. Ooh. One of the best noises, sound effects in the world. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's okay. just, I love That's it. my uh, mating call, too. Oh, <laughs> so you're, you're, we better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of weird. So what university did this drink graduate from? This was actually a little collaboration. Uh, the movie The Graduate. Okay. Uh, kind of biggest. Yeah. yeah. You got that Mrs. Robinson thing going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> Aren't you? You gotta taste that first. I think there should be a rule if you're a bartender that every drink you make for somebody who orders it, you make one for you first, you pound it, and then you're like, okay, yeah. and then you make it for somebody else. You know? It's not a rule, but I do it. <laughs> yeah, this came to be, it was like, you get the little smoky older woman, the Lafroy. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, there's the graduate. Very yeah. young, eight-year-old agave. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. You get right. yourself the graduate. Did you know I was an alcoholic? What? So look at this, you got that, that frothiness on top, and then let's, let me do a taste test, right? Oh yeah. Whoa. Whoa, first thing I thought, how fresh that tastes. Yeah, like that is, that is springtime in a glass, and then just alcohol. Oh my God, that's so good. You almost kind of oh had, like, remember the God. old milk mustache ads? That's kind of what you had. You want drink of that? I'm gonna drink the rest of this. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you guys done? Uh, that's amazing. How is there that much booze in it? It tastes so good. That's when you know you've come across oh a my God. damn good bartender. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if people come to Broken English and you don't see that on the menu, you just go, make me a graduate. Yeah. Please. 
Yeah. Right? And you definitely Bananas. make sure you see me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I promise you, you guys will love it. That yeah, is yeah. such a good drink. Yeah. Drink it, bitch. It's always good. <laughs> to love you. 